Hi guys, this is Baba Kobe. Welcome to my channel. And I present to you the foods that Zimbabweans eat. Some foods that you may find elsewhere, but some is strangely Zimbabwean. Like this sadza and meat, or mince meat. It is uh, symbolical for Zimbabweans uh, to eat some strange foods but uh, commonly they do grow vegetables and have some cows to get beef and uh, goats as well for meat so they usually slaughter some of these animals to make their food or make their delicious meals they slaughter the animals right on the village, just as you see there, and they stock the meat either in fridges in the modern way or just hang it to dry the older way. When they cook, they can cook it in the open fire outside, is this way, and they or just to fry it. Sometimes they cook it in the kitchen on a fireplace in the center of the kitchen, in a traditional kitchen. But sometimes you also find some of these foods in the street, street foods, commonly found sweet potatoes, maize on the corn, and ground nuts. Those are common. And the Zimbabweans eat by hand. They use hands to eat they don't use forks or anything just wash hands and start eating like this way i was eating these dumplings or as we call them mafet cook boiled maize usually comes green fresh like that is very good for them they like it and they boil it and then eat it as it is here, it is boiled and ready to eat. And sometimes they can have it with tea as breakfast. It's common. Zimbabweans like maize. In the street, during the maize season, you will find almost everyone eating a cob or, s or two. And they also have ground or nuts mixed with the maize kernels roasted or fried. They like that as well. That is a good snack that they always eat. But when we come to main meals, they always have salsa, one type of salsa or another. In this case, this one is, well, rough white salsa with okra delicious but sometimes you also get uh, the millet salsa with the peanut butter vegetables and some pork ribs it's very delicious another delicacy is mupani worms or a uh, madora or makimbi they are very good with vegetables and any of the white salsa or brown, as you may call it. Chicken is common because they always have chicken. At any village, you find chickens. They have chickens and the vegetables, like I said before, they grow the vegetables in the gardens. And the snacks, they always have snacks like a boiled brown peas called mutakura or ground nuts boiled and eaten like that they are very common and they are very popular but there is also what we call mkanga which is a, a maize kernel and a pumpkin mixture uh, cooked in a certain way 
It's a very lovely, it's a very lovely pudding. Watermelons are also common. Well, you know, when we were boys, we just used to eat them. You just ram it on the floor and crack it and start eating and scooping. Maize is still featured. It is always boiled or roasted. That is common, but it is also preserved and dried and then made into mini meal to make the salsa, which is the step of food. The snack of maize and ground nuts roasted is popular for breakfast or just as a snack. And sweet potatoes, they are very popular for tea. They always have sweet potatoes with tea. That's very common. The chicken and salsa <laughs> keeps featuring. That is very common. Wherever you go in Zimbabwe, there's always salsa. And Zimbabweans like it. And the ground nuts, some people just sitting there and just be cracking some. That is very common. Madora, maklimbi, and vegetables. These are very popular. They are harvested from Mopani trees, commonly found in Matebele land. Watermelons, these are the only type of watermelons with the red one inside. They are the only ones that are usually commonly found in Zimbabwe. So, Zimbabweans, foods, fried red nuts and kernels, and the mtakura that I mentioned before, which is peanuts, a peas, or nyemba, boiled. It's called mtakura. It's a good snack. The last one is mbeva, which is wild mice. Sometimes people confuse it with the rats found in the house. They don't eat rats in the house. These are mice and they're hunted from the fields in the bush. These are some of the foods that I brought to you. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.